Dissident guerrilla commander presumed dead in Colombia. As of Wednesday, Colombian Defense Minister Diego Milano declared the death to be presumed of a dissident left-wing guerrilla group commander who was assassinated in Venezuela earlier this month. Miguel Batash Santalana, also known as Kind Duarte, was killed in a forest assault on May 4, according to local media. It had been more than 50 years since Colombia's Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, FARC, and Colombia's government signed a peace agreement. When the 2016 peace agreement came into effect, he was among the first former FARC commanders to re-enlist. All manifestations of wickedness must be removed, President Ivan Duke said in a message to press, calling the development excellent news. For his part, Milano said at a news conference in Bogotá that intelligence sources confirm that Kind Duarte is believed dead in the Venezuelan state of Zulia after a fight between drug trafficking gangs and terrorists. That Venezuela's Maduro administration is shielding terrorist and narcotics trafficking organizations on its land is still further evidence, if this turns out to be true. Since conservative Duke took office in 2015, Colombia has often accused neighboring Venezuela of hosting insurgents on its soil. Batash has reportedly been in control of 1,700 fighters since resuming hostilities. The FARC dissidents do not have a centralized leadership. There are around 5,200 combatants spread out across 30 different organizations throughout the nation. Most of their money comes from illicit drug trafficking and mining. Batash's head has been offered a $1 million prize by Colombia's government. Click here to read the rest of the story at Digital Journal. Colombia says dissident guerrilla leader presumed dead.